Okay, hello students. Here's an introductory drawing tutorial for you to complete. All right, the purpose of this tutorial will be to learn how to hold and use these three tools correctly. Your T-square, your set square, and your pencil. Okay, pencil should be pretty easy. The other things uh, I think will be pretty easy as well. Now, <clears throat> the main thing to remember with these tools is that the T-square needs to be placed against the edge of the drawing board, not a few millimeters away from the drawing board, but firmly against the edge of the drawing board and the set square or the plastic triangle goes against the edge of the t-square right if you can understand if you can if you can keep in mind that the t-square needs to be against the edge of the board and the set square needs to be against the edge of the t-square everything will be cool okay righty so we're going to do some practice drawing to uh just get comfortable with our tools we're going to begin by putting a little mark roughly about there on our page. So near the top left-hand corner. Now you're gonna slide your T-square up so that it lines up with that little dot and then rule a line that's about this long. Okay, it doesn't go all the way across the page. It's only a little, a little of the way across the page. Then making sure the T-square is against the edge of the board and the set square is against the T square, you're gonna rule a line through that little mark one last time. Okay, so you've got a straight line across the page and a straight line up. Along this straight line, you are going to grab your set square. Using your set square, you're gonna measure from zero to 70 and put a little mark, okay, zero, zero to 70 and then every 20 sorry every 10 millimeters you're going to make a little mark okay we're testing we're making sure we use we're accurate slide the t-square up and rule a line across okay you know it works because you have a parallel line that's Com completely parallel, completely straight with your other lines. Okay, just continue that. All right, and it's very easy, right? You just make sure, just make sure the T-squares against the edge of the board, slide it up and rule against the edge of the T-square. Alrighty, so we've drawn straight lines. We're gonna use our pencil and make, and use heavier line weight to make every second line a little darker. All right, cool. That's our first activity. That's our first task. Lines that go across the page that are straight by holding the T-square against the board. Now, next to this one, put another little dot. We're gonna begin the same way. Rule across the page and rule up the page. Along the bottom, we're going to put a little mark at every 15 millimeters from zero to 90. And this time we're going to make sure the T square is in place, the set square is in place, and we're ruling lines that go up. So with this, to make sure the lines are parallel, make sure the T-square is firmly against the edge of the board, make sure the, air, the set square is against the T-square, and then you just need to slide the set square over. All right, so there we go. We're being accurate. Every 15 millimeters we've marked from zero to 90. And then every second mark, we're gonna use heavier line weight to make every second more. Right, 
beautiful. We've learnt how to use the T-square to rule lines across the page. We've learnt how to hold the T-square and the set square to rule lines that go up the page. In the bottom left-hand corner now, we're going to move on to our, another activity. We'll put a little mark roughly there. And we're going to rule across and rule up exactly the same way. We're going to measure 100, put a little mark at every 10 millimeters. Zero to 100 every 10 millimeters. Zero to 100 every 10 millimeters. All right, so we've got marks along the vertical, marks along the horizontal. We're going to use a really light line weight. So light line weight is when you don't press down super firmly with your pencil. You just use, you press lightly, making sure the T-square is in place and the set square is in place. Slide the set square over so that it lines up with those little marks, the little lines that go up the page. Okay, we got parallel lines going up the page. Position your T-square so that it's against the edge of the board. Line the blade of the T-square or the edge of the T-square up with the little marks and rule across. So this time we will have done a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter grid. With that in mind, we're going to use heavier line weight and we're going to make the square around the grid darker. Okay, just the square. All right, be very, very careful that the T-square isn't slowly being nudged away from the edge of the board. If it is, your lines won't be straight. Okay, another thing you should never do is just get your set square or your ruler or your T-square and just rule things haphazardly. You've got to make sure that's in place, this is in place. Right. Every second line in the grid will be made darker. Okay, and we're not going outside of the box with the dark lines. Slide the T-square up. Beautiful. Horizontal lines, vertical lines, horizontal and vertical lines used to make a grid. Our last activity will be this. Another little mark, a line that goes up, a line that goes across. In here, you're going to do the same thing. From 0 to 100, put a little mark at every 10 millimeters from 0 to 100, along the side and along the bottom. Okay, light line weight. We're going to make a grid. All right, We're trying to get into the practice of when you plan out a grid or when you draw a grid, you don't draw very darkly to begin with. You don't press on your pencil very heavily to begin with. All right, almost done. Next. Grid, 100 by 100. And in this 100 by 100 millimeter grid, 
you have to draw your first initial. So my first initial is E. So I'm going to sketch in very lightly. All right. It doesn't have to go all the way across the grid. The grid is just there to help you see. So you're going to get your pencil, sketch in your initial, whatever it is. Okay, sketch in your initial, initial. And then when you have your initial, initial completed, you are going to use heavier line weight to draw that initial. Almost done. Okay. Oops, I went over a little bit there. Okay, there's our basic drawing activities. Holding the T-square against the board and moving it up and down, we can draw horizontal lines. Holding the T-square against the board and the set square against the T-square, and sliding the T-square left and right, we can draw vertical lines. When we do that together, we can come up with a grid. Once we've got a grid, inside the grid, we can plot out uh, simple illustration. Alrighty, there's your practice drawing activities. Good luck.